I'm Steve Miller and welcome to my latest video of how I use DxO Photo Lab 8 to uh, edit my photos. In this uh, video I'm just going to show how you can um, set up um, a split tone. Not something I use a lot of but I know a lot of photographers do, especially wedding photographers and Instagrammers. But i just show how it can be done in um, Photo Lab. You can create a split tone and then save it as a preset to be used on future images. Uh, this image I've chose, um, just I thought it'd be, I say I don't really use split tones on my wildlife images, but I thought this, this would be quite a good one just to show, like to, to do an orange and teal, like warm the highlights up and um, cool the shadows down. I know that's a popular sort of um, look that people go for for split tones. Um, to start with, I wouldn't do anything on the photo, I'd just pick a photo that you think would be good to to sort of create the split tone on, which is what I've done here. <coughs> I'd, um, then it's just a matter of going into the uh, split tone tool. It's I've got a different, um, I've got my workspace set up for me um, Wacom tablet, but if you, you find it over here under the colour um, tab, and we've got style toning, and this is where the split tones set up but I don't I use it over here because I'm left-handed I find it easier with the Wacom tablet so if we do style tone if we turn it on it'll look horrible at first but uh, it's not the simple toning we use it's going to be split toning now one of the problems is to do a custom one you, you need to have a film pack installed which I have but I'll just show you how you could you could do one without um film pack you could just use a sepia and the gold um for for doing uh, these things, I mean, these are colours you can add to the highlights, and we're a bit restricted. But sepia is quite warm, and gold is quite a cool. I don't know why gold is cool. It must be something to do with the old film days. So, what you could do, you could set one up here. Obviously, that looks too much. So you could just drop the intensity down, so it's warming the highlights up slightly there on the bird, and the twig, and the leaves and then I'll just knock that down the gold see that's cooling the shadows a bit so if I turn that on and off you can see this sort of thing it's subtle I mean with split tone you you don't want to go over the top uh, it is very subtle sometimes so you could actually save that as a preset but I'm not going to do that I'm going to show you how it is better if you've got film pack uh, installed because you can go and use the custom colors which I find to be better. Uh, I found as well when I was going to set this up at first, if you drop the intensity um, for both down to about 20 or 30, I'll go just down to there. It's just a rough figure around there. And now this is where you can choose what colours you want for the highlights and the shadows. So I was going to go for a like a um, orange and teal look. So for the highlights, I want to find a orange colour. If you watch this slider here, uh, this uh, bar here, you'll see it does change colour as I'm picking the. So I'll go somewhere like that, sort of an orange type colour i go for. And then with the shadows, it's a teal colour I'm looking for. So we're looking at something, something like that. I'll just turn that on and off so you can see the sort of effect it's having. Like I say, it, it's very subtle. There's also you can sort of do it so it goes more towards the, high, the highlights so you uh, change more or you can go more towards the uh, shadows. So really what you're looking at now is just sort of how you like it. This can be tweaked after, you know, once you've um, put the preset on any image, you can go back in and, and change these settings. But you want something, you know, about, I'd say something like that. Um, which is looking quite nice. Now, this is where you can save it as a preset. It, it it's a bit of a long-winded thing to do, but it's it's not not too bad once you get into it. If you just go image new preset from image settings, and I'll just put um, split. I'll just call it split tone one. I've created that. And now this is it's quite good because I can show you how you can use the presets editor. Um, so there's my split tone one I've just created. 
I'll just move that into I have got a folder for split tones. Oop. If I can get it in there. There. Did it get there? No. It's a bit fin finicky. Right. So this is the split tone that I have just created in the presets editor. What you have to do, you have to go in and edit this preset once you've created it, because if you go on to preset and go on edit, and then all these things that have highlighted blue are what are going to be used on this preset. So there's things I don't want, because if I've cropped that image, if I'm working on a different image and I've already cropped it, and then I bring this preset in, it's going to go to the crop. It's going to knock the crop off. So... I don't want it to use the crop, the horizon, the distortion. I can I can leave because you know that is uh, it's not going to take effect. In fact, I'll turn it off because I don't want it to do anything on this image. And all this, we have to go and turn all these off because if if we don't, if we have worked on these tools before we apply that preset, the preset will override it. So we have to make sure it's like even that. You know the detail. Um, if I had gone and put XD2S on this image and then I applied the preset I've just created, because I had that preset set on the, because uh, I had Deep Prime Three set on the preset, it it override what I've done. So you just have to turn all these off. Um, don't know whether anyone else uh, knows an easier way of doing this, but. Uh, local adjustments I haven't done any but still if I had you know I could have done some local adjustments on the ones I'm using uh, images I'm doing in the future so I'm just take, making sure everything is turned off apart from the style toning tool right so if I've gone I've turned everything off or better just just a watermark I turn that off as well if I put a watermark, I wouldn't want to override that. So all I've got now is the style toning. And now I can save that preset. So if I save that preset, that's, that'll, that's all that will be. So all right, if I go in now and I, um, I'll just reset the image. If I go in, I'll show you what I mean. If I work on uh, any of these uh, let's say we go to i'll lift the shadows a bit and add a bit of contrast and the highlights clear view plus i just this is just to show you um it won't affect any of them things i've just done so in the um i saved that in split tone one there so if i apply that it's just it hasn't changed any of these sliders that I've just I've done all it has done is added the um, split tone that I created so that is where you have to go in and reset all the I mean this is the same when you use the presets editor or anything really uh, you know you can sort of you can go in after you've created the preset and say right I don't I want to edit that I don't want to you know, I can go in there and edit that again and say, well, okay, when I created that preset, I wanted, I only wanted to use standard on the, the denoising. So I could turn that on. And then it, for when I apply that preset, standard denoising will come on instead of D prime three. So it, it's, it's, it's quite, once you get your head around it, it's easy, but it's uh, it's it's just so I get the the idea behind it. So now I have got that I can just set that preset to any of my images. Um, if I go in and say right, uh, if I want that one, oh, I forgot to turn the uh, preset editor off. So right, and if I want to add that preset, I can just say, there's a preset I've got selected, and then I can apply it to that image, which 
it was done down here. Um, like I was saying, to do the custom colours, you do have to have Film Pack uh, installed. Um, but you can create the ones without the custom. You can create them with these, but you are a bit limited to the colours. So uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, now, if you're uh, if you there's certain split tones that you like, that you can go in and create them. Save them as a preset and use them on any any images you want. Thanks a lot. Bye.